I would like to welcome you all in the lecture series of Power Electronics. In this session, I am going to discuss what do you mean by multiple pulse width modulation. In the previous session, I have discussed about single pulse width modulation and we have found that there are more number of old harmonics which is present in that particular technique. To overcome that, we are going to use multiple pulse width modulation. Now, first of all, let's see what's the meaning of multiple pulse width modulation. You know what is PWM? Here, multiple pulse width modulation, short form is MPM. Uh, which is a special type of inverter that generates AC output waveforms okay, by switching the DC input in multiple pulses during each half cycle instead of using a single pulse because you know the switches. Suppose we have four switches, S1, S2, S3, S4, right? So uh, like one pair of switches should be turned on and other, uh, like uh, you need to operate one pair of switches at a time. Another switch of pair will be operated in another half cycle, correct? No. Whenever you are operating like uh, one pair of switches, so my like uh, each and every half cycle, look at the half cycle, the pulses will be in this fashion only. So instead of single pulse, I gonna, I'm going to use the multiple pulses. Here the primary goal, the ultimate uh, intention is appro uh, the approximate the sine wave more closely than the basic square wave inverter. Okay, so it tries to output will be approximate to sine wave, uh, like a compared to like a square because we require the sinusoidal waveform as an output because most of the electronic and dedicated instrument, dedicated instruments that will be operating under sine wave. So by using this technique, uh, the square wave will be almost closer to that of sine wave. So that is the plus point of this particular inverter. Okay, so I think you understood uh, like what is the meaning of multiple pulse width modulation. Okay, so why we are using multiple pulse width modulation? So let me go to more details of multiple multiple pulse width modulation. Here the output waveform is broken into several narrow pulses. So like we never get uh, the single pulse. In spite of that, we are getting the broken pulses. Okay. Uh, the inverter switches on and off in several times to create these pulses. That is another speciality. So uh, the peculiarity is the multiple pulses will be occurring in each and every half cycle. Each half cycle, there will be multiple pulses. That is another observation which we can make. So that will uh, try uh, the conversion of square wave into sine wave, almost sine wave, because we cannot share that this is pure sine wave. It will approximately make the waveform into sine wave. That is a speciality. By the way, the harmonic content will be minimized. If the harmonic content is minimized, what will happen? Uh, our power quality will be improved. If our power quality is improved, what will happen? Your life, life, the lifespan of the equipment will be improved. Correct? No, you can operate the equipment with a high life, a long lifespan. So your uh, like uh, maintenance cost also will be reduced. So these are the plus point of improving the power quality. The width and the position of the pulses are controlled based on the modulation technique. Okay, like uh, we have reference signal and control signal. Accordingly, we can change. Okay, uh, that's all about like uh, uh, this uh, basic introduction of this session. Now, uh, let us see the waveform so that you, you can have a better understanding. So everybody can observe here. Uh, we have triangular waveform and a square waveform. Triangular waveform is known as carrier signal, where square waveform is known as a reference signal. So we require a comparator. Okay, using the comparator, like a triangular waveform is compared with the square waveforms. Uh, by the way, uh, the the uh, like a production of the pulses, so triggering pulse will be generated and the, those triggering pulses will be directly given to gate terminal of the IGBT or MOSFET. Okay, so everybody can observe here, instead of single pulse, we are going to use multiple pulses. Here, tell me how many pulses are there. There are two pulses at the positive half cycle. So there are uh, two pulses at the negative half cycle. This will be the like a uh, similar, like uh, this is the output. Output will be like this only. Okay, uh, whenever we are generating the pulses, uh, we are using multiple pulse in spite of single pulse. That is a speciality of multiple pulse with modulation. I request everybody to refer this diagram so that you can have a better diagram, better idea. So the ripple anode we can compute in this particular formula. Uh, one more important information. So that in order to understand the concept properly, so you have to refer this diagram. Here you can see the reference signal. Square wave is the reference signal and a triangular waveform is the carrier signal. Using the comparator, you are taking the difference between the square wave and triangular waveform. So the result will be placed in this fashion. You can observe here the difference, the difference between the carrier signal and the reference signal. You are able to get the result in this fashion. This is the positive half cycle where uh, as you can observe, I am pointing out the negative half cycle. So here, the frequency of the reference signal is determined by the frequency of output voltage, that is two. If I like, uh, if I increase, if I want to increase the frequency, I have to increase the frequency of the uh, like uh, 
the uh, reference signal. I think it's clear to everybody. Okay, so this is a basic diagram so that you can understand the concept in a pretty clear fashion. So instead of single pulse, we, we are going to use multiple pulse. So similarly, the ratio of AR to the AC is known as modulation index. AR is actually related to uh, the reference signal, amplitude of the reference signal. AC is the carrier signal. If you take the ratio, you are going to get the uh, like a modulation index. In addition to that, you can compute the output to voltage in this fashion. So this is actually like in the form of like a Fourier series. So if you elaborate it, you are able to get the elaborated fashion. You are supposed to put the one, two, three uh, at the variables. Okay. At your T, at, at N is equal to one, two, three, you can substitute. So ultimately, uh, you are able to get this. If you perform like endpoint DFT or any other technique, you can separate the frequency component in individually. That is another plus point of like a, uh, different techniques are available. Uh, right now, I'm not talking about different type of analysis. Okay. Here, odd and even component, you can analyze it. Okay. Uh, and also like uh, V naught, uh, nominal voltage that will be given as 0 0.7484 Vs. Okay, so that is another uh, peculiarity. Uh, these are the further calculation. Gamma will be like approximately 54 degree here in this context. Uh, now, uh, the frequency of output to voltage is determined by the frequency of the reference signal. So by varying the modulation index, you can easily uh, verify the output to voltage. Okay, the number of pulses per half cycle is calculated by the carrier frequency FC using the formula. Uh, number of pulses is given by carrier frequency upon 2 into output, output, output frequency. Uh, by, by the way, we can have a simplification. Fc by Fo is nothing but Mf. Okay, modulation index. Mf divided by 2. So, number of pulses is equal to modulation index divided by 2. So, another formula, we can write Mf is equal to, see from here, Mf is equal to 2p. Otherwise, Fc by F0, that is known as modulation ratio or modulation index. So ultimately, the harmonics content will be minimized. It is pretty con convenient for the devices, which is too delicate, especially the electronic equipments. Okay. Uh, so more number of pulses, if you are providing, we can mitigate uh, the production of uh, like a small uh, lower order harmonics. The main plus point is harmonic reduction. If you compute the TST, total harmonic distortion, that will be less in the case of multiple pulse modulation instead of single pulse width modulation. That is a plus point. Another thing is power quality will be improved. Apart from that, there is an improvement in the efficiency because by reducing the harmonics, the overall power quality will be improved. So the lifespan of the equipment will be increased and ultimately the losses will be minimized. Even uh, maintenance also will be minimized. So that will ultimately improve the efficiency. There are so many applications, especially in the variable speed drive, induction heating, UPS system, we are going to use multiple pulse width modulation. So I am very uh, fortunate to convey my thanks to the audience, those who are observing this video very carefully. I wish uh, like all the very best for your forthcoming examination and uh, always thankful for your uh, humble support. Happy learning. Have a great day. If you are watching our channel first time, kindly subscribe our channel for getting more videos. Even I, I request you to give the like for like uh, uh, for a uh, for, for for your concern thank you so much for watching this video have